Hello Aries, welcome to Crystal Tarot 1111. Today we're going to look at what's going on in your love situation. And this is going to be timeless, so it's either going to be resonant or not. This will be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Aries in your chart or a lot of fire in your chart, this may resonate. We're going to take a look at what's going on with you and the other person and get some guidance for you as well. So do check out the other placements in your chart. They often can resonate even more than your sun sign and cross watchers. Certainly this could resonate in the reverse. Take it as it fits and do not make it fit if it doesn't, guys. It is a general reading, obviously. And I also recommend checking out the monthly reading for both a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine um, of the current month there in order to get some more information as well if this does resonate. So let's let's take a look at what is going on here for you, Aries. Okay. We've got three of pentacles, the queen of swords, the hermit, and the knight of pentacles. Eight of cups, the star, eight of swords, the Empress, Five of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Devil, and the Seven of Cups. And lastly, we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Okay. So Aries, I'm going to read this as your side and this side as the person that you are dealing with. However, um, certainly it could resonate in the reverse. So let me just tune in for a moment here. And interesting, at the bottom of the deck, we get your card, Aries. We have the Emperor. So I feel like, Aries, you are... Um, I feel like you're, there's somebody here that you have are, are ready to move something forward with but the energy between you right now is you're kind of maybe you've kind of retreated or pulled back your energy a little bit because it feels like this person could be a little bit distracted I feel like they're a little distracted they're potentially um, not being super warm to you at the moment but it could be because they it could be because you worked together maybe there was something where you kind of had to keep things very professional and and it's it caused you to possibly pull back your energy a little bit but it looks like this person is in the process of leaving something behind this person is walking away i think they're kind of moving away from something and it might be relatively fresh here and I feel like right now you're feeling like you're ready to start something you're ready to begin something but you kind of feel like you can't do much it's like I, I can't really do anything to change this situation possibly because this other person might need to be either healing or moving on from um, or still having to do some healing after making a decision um, it feels like they've decided to possibly move on from a past situation, but they're still in the process of kind of purifying and cleansing themselves and doing their healing and just really in an energy of taking care of themselves. But it does feel like they've left something behind here. But what ha I feel like what's happening here is, is they're making a lot of changes in their life. And they're trying to gain some balance here. But in the meantime, it's almost like it's causing you some confusion. It's causing you some confusion. It's causing you to maybe think, Hey, you know what? Maybe I, maybe this isn't what I want. Maybe this person is, um, you know, I feel like your fears are getting the best of you at the moment, Aries, and it's causing you to potentially think of leaving, leaving, not leaving the situation, but kind of, just saying, you know what? I know what I want. I feel like you really want this person, but I feel like you're getting a little bit caught up in some of these fears because I do feel like they're going through a lot of changes in their physical world. And they're trying to, again, restore some balance. But 
I do see here what's coming in here in the future is we've got when this person has kind of balanced the scales and balanced themselves, maybe they've gotten a if there's there's a divorce um because there could be, you know, this person might have been um going through some counseling in order to make a decision or to gain some clarity. But it does feel like they're moving on. But what it's like when they're ready, they're ready. We've got Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles here. It's like they'll be ready. And what we have here is I feel like suddenly things could begin moving quickly and you're going to feel this sense of victory. I feel like there's going to be something with this person when they're ready to offer something. It's like, okay, fine. Oh, wow. Okay, here it is. Because... We're showing both the emperor and the empress here. So this could definitely be a very strong soul connection for you, Aries. Let me just get a little bit more here just to add. What is this hermit energy for you? Yeah, the nine of swords. So what's happening, it's like, I feel like you're, you've pulled your energy back. They may have been somewhat abrupt with you. And kind of cold to you. And I think it surprised you. So you might be stressing out about this. I do feel like you are. And why do you have the devil here? The two of wands. Yeah, you're not sure if this person's going to choose you. But you know what? It looks like they are. Because we have, when they're ready, they are ready. And this communication that comes in pretty swiftly... Um, is getting the five of cups. And I feel like this, I think you're going to move past any sort of stress, anxiety, feeling helpless, like you can't do anything. And maybe they don't want you. Maybe they're not interested. Maybe they're just, you know, maybe this, maybe I'm imagining this because you're ready to start something. And I feel like the moment there's communication and there's a sincere offer that is also coming with a, a sincere desire to open up the heart, that you're suddenly gonna realize, you know what? I can't believe I'm so worried about that. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, I'm, I've still got these two cups here. I don't have to worry about the past. For some of you, there could be an apology. This person could be um, feeling potentially a little bit of fear of rejection because they may have moved on from you in the past. Maybe that's what they got distracted by. Maybe they left you and they're ready to heal this, but because they had, they still had some more healing to do. And it could be also why they're now coming back with this or not coming back even. That's only if they've left you, obviously this isn't going to be for everybody, but it does feel like they are making the changes and they have the five of pentacles with the seven of wands. So they're kind of actively in the battle right now and they're trying to restore their balance. So hang in there, Aries. It does look like this is shifting. So let me get the, because when we have this new beginning, it's like there's a definite sense of victory here where suddenly, you know, here's this woman greeting this guy who has been victorious and they're meeting them there. So um, I feel like this is moving in the right direction, but you might right now just be really feeling this, this devil energy and because you know what you want, but you might also be feeling a little confused and unsure, but it does feel like they're really going through it. So Aries, let me, let me get your guidance for you. What is the best guidance for Aries in this love situation? What is the best guidance for Aries? And we're getting the vulture spirit of nothing is wasted and trust in the magic, the 66 card. So I feel like whatever has transpired has all led to this person being fully present and ready for a new beginning with an open heart. It feels like they had a closed heart before or they weren't willing to open up their heart to you before, but they are saying to trust in the magic here. Nothing is wasted. And we have, it's time to let go. And it's interesting, the groundhog's coming in today. He's saying hi, because I'm actually recording this on Groundhog Day, February 2nd. So it's kind of funny. But I do feel like 
This is asking you to let go of the past um, and to let go of any worries and concerns because we do have magic here and we have time for a deep dive. I do feel like <clears throat> this has resulted in the, the situation has resulted in also taking a look at what you need to look at, at within yourself and understand about yourself. And there's also a message of kind of like hiding, like almost making things look very graceful and pretty on the outside, but underneath it, there's a lot of effort being made. And sweet results await with the beast spirit. So um, again, some of this, this guidance can apply to the other person as well. Take it as it fits. But I do feel like if this person has been walking away, here's the confirmation that is, this was a relationship or, or something that they've had to walk away from that it's been time to let go. But they're just in the throes right now of making the changes, Aries. So Aries, I hope that was helpful. Do go check out the other signs. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.